Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Emma LaFave and today I'm gonna to be giving you five tips on how to get yourself motivated to paint when you just may not be feeling it or you're in some sort of a creative rut. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so I'm sure we have all been there. I know I have been there plenty of times, too many times. It's just, it's created a real problem, especially when this is my job. <laughs> but I have found a few tips that help me personally. So I'm hoping that they will help you too. So my first tip is to just swatch your paint colors. Swatch your paint colors. If you have multiple palettes, swatch them. Just lay paint down on paper. Sometimes you don't need to really create anything. You can just swatch your colors and that will give you enough motivation to actually do something with them. Maybe you can find a creative way to swatch them. Maybe you could swatch them in leaf patterns or rainbows. I don't know, anything. And then the next part of that would be to mix colors. Try mixing colors together that you may have never tried before. Try combinations that you haven't even thought of, write them down, create some sort of like a color mixing chart and just play around with your colors in your palette. Get to know all the paints that you have. And if you have multiple palettes, swatch them all. And I find that is one of the most relaxing things to do. You know, grab yourself a coffee or a tea or wine and you know, put on some of your favorite music or some relaxing music and just swatch colors, mix colors together, just see what happens. I actually have a little sketchbook that I have dedicated to my color swatches for when I get new palettes. And sometimes I'll just lay down colors in there because why not? I find the art of actually just putting paint to paper and not having the pressure to create anything specific really can help get you in the mood to be creative. So that is my first tip, simple enough. My second tip is to get outside and take a walk because sometimes something in nature actually might inspire you. I know I have this little, it's like a tiny little foresty path that I can take my kids to and just walk through and there's some wildflowers there that bloom and that has inspired me to paint. I know Noah gets really annoyed with me when I tell him to stop every two seconds because I'm taking photos of some of the plants and the flowers. But you know what? That's something that really inspires me. You know, just fresh air in general, exercise helps, but walk somewhere that can inspire you, whether it's a garden or just down the street. I, I have creepily enough creeped other neighbors' gardens. Um, I try not to go up to their gardens and take photos, although there's been so many times where I've wanted to. There was a beautiful wisteria. Is it a bush or a tree? I don't even know. Vine that was growing on one house that was gorgeous that I just <laughs> desperately wanted to go up and take photos of, but I didn't because that's trespassing, but still it inspired me. There was another house that had beautiful poppies growing in the front yard. And I will be honest, I have never actually seen poppies until then in person. And I was just like, it was like fangirling over flowers. So you never know what's in your neighbor's yard. So if you just go around, take a walk, and just start to notice things that can also inspire you. And the second part of that is also take photos. There's a community garden like right across the street from my house and they had just planted um, beautiful little anemones and I think there's lupins, lupines, I don't know how to say it, um, that they just planted there and I will go there and there I can actually, you know, take photos and I'm not trespassing on someone else's property. But take photos of your work. Sometimes when you bring it home and you look at it later, it may inspire you to create something. And that doesn't just go for flowers, maybe houses or trees or other plants or just some sort of structure may inspire you to create something. My third tip is use new materials. Now I'm not even saying like a new medium because I find for me that can be overwhelming. Um, I know I've tried and when I'm in a rut already and I don't feel as creative, trying a new medium can be really frustrating. Um, I've tried oil pastels and soft pastels thinking, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, get creative and try something new. No, because <laughs> when I am not good at something right away, uh, I get really angry and then it kind of 
makes me not want to paint or do anything. So if you're like me, don't do that, but it may inspire you. So um, just try to, you know, use new materials. Maybe there's a palette that has been hiding in the back of your drawer that you haven't cracked open for a while. Um, you know, that might inspire you to create something new with it. Or I hate to say it, um, buy something new. Now, I'm not trying to say that every time you feel unmotivated, you should go buy new art supplies, even though I feel like I'm not alone in this. That is a type of therapy for a lot of us. You know, we're not feeling inspired. We go and buy a new paint color or a new paint palette or a new brush. And sometimes that will motivate you. Not going to lie. Um, but something new, just like a little pick me up. I know when I was feeling down or just not as motivated, I bought a really beautiful ceramic palette and it wasn't cheap, but it was really pretty to paint with and it made me feel really happy and <laughs> I, I, I use that. But also, like I said, use our materials that you haven't used in a while. There are a couple palettes that I don't paint with on the daily because I always tend to use my same old palette. I have so many watercolor palettes that I don't use, so cracking open one of those sometimes will motivate me to try something new. Also, try and use a new color palette. So with that, Use colors that you don't typically use. Like I know there are colors in my palette that I don't touch like at all. So maybe trying to create something or even just swatching um, those colors in your palette, trying to put them together with other colors may help you get out of your little rut and motivate you to create something. My fourth tip is to paint somewhere new. I am used to sitting at this desk and painting for my tutorials and I know once I've done so many tutorials and this has become work, it can be hard to sit here and create with the purpose of just creating for myself and, you know, being creative and motivating myself. Sometimes it's hard to sit at this desk and enjoy it. So take your watercolors outside, take your supplies outside. I know when I did that real talk video a while ago, I, I think it was last summer, um, I went to the rocky beach and I brought my little palette of beam watercolor paints and I painted there. And while I didn't create any sort of masterpiece, I just painted and I listened to the waves. I had some music going, I had my water and I just painted outside. So whether you're going to a beach or you go sit under a tree at a park or in your backyard, or even just switching to like your dining room table or your bedroom, paint somewhere new. Just switch it up and just see if that helps you. And then my last tip is to paint following a tutorial or create something following a tutorial. And I know if you're watching me right now, you follow my tutorials, but find someone new. I know that there's times where I don't want to think. I will bust out some of my watercolor books by other authors and I will try and paint one of their tutorials because it can get to be a lot trying to come up with my own ideas and ideas for videos that it just can be so overwhelming sometimes that it's just nice to follow someone else's instructions for a change. So there are tons of other authors out there that have watercolor books that can also be the something that you might purchase to motivate you. Go to the bookstore and buy some watercolor books. I recently bought these three books by Harriet DeWinton, Eunice Sun, and and Sarah Simon, and they are wonderful watercolor books. Actually, Sarah sent me her book, and it's a workbook where you actually get to work in it, and it was a lot of fun because I was following someone else's instructions, and the way she explained things and did things was different than the way I do it. She does a lot of line work first, which I don't typically do, but that inspired me to incorporate that more into my work. So maybe following someone else's instructions rather than the typical people you might follow on the daily basis, or your own instructions may inspire you to try something new. So those are my five tips for getting yourself motivated to get creative and paint something when you're just not feeling it. And I really hope some of those tips work for you. You know, they work for me a lot of the time, but there are some times where they don't work. And in that case, you may just need a nap and that's okay. Sometimes you just need to leave it where it is and come back another day. 
but hopefully one of those tips will work for you and you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.